As a regular listener to political podcasts, I've just become a bit tired of listening to politics through echo chambers. Many of the podcasts have people on who agree with one another, who are pushing a particular line. And inevitably, I get drawn to those podcasts that agree with my opinion. It strikes me that if we're going to have a more mature conversation moving forward, then we need to have space where people can actually agree to disagree. And so I've come up with this idea with my mate Simon Danshaw to create a podcast that's called The Business of Politics. The Business of Politics is going to be launched in January 2023. I'm delighted that Simon's agreed to do it with me. And Simon, I think when we've had the conversation, uh, you were very keen to get involved in the project because, like me, you find political discourse in this country a little frustrating at times. Yeah, that's right, Frank. I think we can find ourselves in an echo chamber, especially on social media, where we follow the people that we like and the views that we we enjoy, and we don't challenge ourselves. And I think this conversation that we are going to have uh, will, will be a bit more challenging, and I think we can agree to disagree and find out what listeners think, but also uh, share our views and, and you know, have, have an interesting discussion on what the topics of the day are. I think it'll be interesting. And I think the other thing I'd say at this point is that, you know, you and I have got a lot of experience, more than we care to reveal some some stages, I'm sure. But, you know, your background in politics and business, mine likewise, just give listeners a, a little bit of a taste of your background, your CV, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I was in politics over 30 years, started out on Blackburn Council as a councillor. Uh, that's where I came to meet you, Frank, if you recall. Uh, then went into business uh, and ran a company for, for a number of years and then became the Member of Parliament for Rochdale in 2010 and served as the MP there until 2017. I was what the Financial Times called uh, Corbyn's fiercest critic. Uh, and that's when I then departed politics and went back into business. So that's where I've been ever since. And if you were Corbyn's fiercest critic, then you must have been really fierce because there were many of us. Um, and just again, for the listeners' benefit, my background, I was a, uh, a politician for 12 years. I served on Lancashire County Council. I was deputy leader there for a time. I led something called the Northwest Regional Assembly. I was also a parliamentary assistant operating in Westminster for seven years, and I chaired the economic development company, Lancashire Enterprises. So I think between us, uh, we've earned the right to at least have an opinion, uh, and we've certainly got many of those. But it's yep. not just going to be you and I, Simon, is it? We're going to be getting some guests on as well. Yeah, that's right. I think we'll have a regular guest on talking about business. We might even have one or two politicos on. And we'll have a Politico of the week as well. So we'll celebrate uh, somebody who's made a great contribution to politics over the last seven days. That should be fun. And if next year's anything as uh, interesting as 2022 has been, then we're not going to be short of material, are we? No, absolutely not. What a year it's been. And I look forward to dissecting all of those uh, epi episodes in our uh, political lives. It should be fun. Uh, now, listen, just for those who are interested in giving us a follow and listening to the podcast, we're going to be doing a pilot programme, which will be looking back on uh, 2022. And as we've just mentioned, the last 12 months, certainly we'll have plenty to talk about. And then the official launch of the podcast, January 2023. So the business of politics with me, Frank McKenna and Simon Zanshaw, launches January 2023. Have a look at the links below to find out further details. And we hope that you'll be listening to two guys who think it's okay to agree to disagree.